Hello and welcome to today's episode of TeachX AI, the podcast where we explore the intersection of artificial intelligence and education. My name is Shiva Rezwani and I'm a master's graduate from King's College London in Applied Linguistics and ELT. I currently teach English at International House London and I'm very passionate about exploring how AI is shaping the way we teach and of course learn languages. Whether you are an English language teacher curious about AI's role in teaching or simply trying to stay informed about the latest tech, you've came to the right place. Today, we are diving into some fascinating research about AI and its relationship to consciousness and what it means for us as educators. As AI continues to evolve, it's crucial that we understand how it works, not just as a tool, but also in terms of its limits and capabilities, and perhaps most intriguingly, its potential for developing something aching to human consciousness. Let's start with a groundbreaking paper by Butlin and his colleagues from 2023. They called their work Consciousness in Artificial Intelligence. This research explored a really critical question that can AI be conscious? The paper offers a multidisciplinary look at consciousness, integrating insight from neuroscience, psychology, and artificial intelligence itself. The authors suggest that while current AI models, like the ones that many of us are using in our language uh, teaching on daily basis, are highly advanced, they do not possess consciousness. I mean, in fact, they argue that AI's sophisticated algorithm mimic human behavior, but they are still far from possessing any real subjective experience. In simple terms, we're working with a very advanced yet mindless machine. So what does this mean for us as educators? Well, it means that while AI can support us in many ways, helping us with student progress, generating content, and even converse with learners, it is not yet capable of thinking in the same way humans do. AI is excellent at processing data and following patterns, but it lacks the self-awareness and emotions that are crucial for consciousness and, more importantly, teaching. So, for instance, think about an AI-powered chatbot and how it may interact with uh, students. I mean, it can respond quickly provide relevant information, and mimic flow of a conversation. It's amazing. Try it at home. However, it doesn't understand the emotion way behind a question like a human teacher would. So this brings us to an important point raised by theoretical physicist uh, Michael Koko in his work at, I think, 2023 that he referred AI as a glorified tape recorder. He thinks and believes that it can store and manipulate vast amounts of data, but it doesn't comprehend the content in the way we do. So Kaku's statement challenges the growing belief that AI is on the verge of achieving true human-like intelligence. While AI has made incredible progress, as Coco notes as well, we are still nowhere near creating machines with consciousness or, uh, to put it simple, genuine understanding. So now you might wonder, does that mean we should abandon AI in the classroom and go back to traditional classroom? The answer is not at all, but we need to use it with a clear understanding or what is its limitation. So for example, tools like um, GPT-3 or 4, depending on using a paid version or not, and other AI driving platforms like Copilot are incredibly powerful for tasks like grammar, vocabulary building, and even content generating, lesson plan generating, but they do not know what it feels like 
to be a language teacher or language learner. Let's think about a language learning learner being frustrated of trying to form a perfect sentence. How does that feel? And would AI be able to, I mean, is capable of getting to deal with that? So this brings us to another thought-provoking point from a recent article by Peter Goff. Goff argues that understanding consciousness is not just about analyzing brain chemistry or focusing solely on biological structure. Instead, it pushes us to think beyond data processing, to consider broader system that might one day include AI, but only if we redefine what intelligence really means. So AI can process language, but it doesn't truly understand the complexities that, that shape communication and learning. This brings us to AI uh, researcher uh, Gary Marcus, who offers reality check on the hype surrounding artificial general intelligence, uh, or called AGI. AGI means AI with consciousness. So in his 2023 blog, he uh, actually called this idea greatly exaggerated and argues that true AGI not yet available. So right now, AI excels in narrow tasks but lack real reasoning abilities. For educators, this is an important distinction. While AGI might one day in the future transform learning, today's AI tool remain just that tool helpful for certain tasks, but far from replacing human teachers. So what does this mean for English language teachers? It means using AI wisely, not as a substitute, but as an assistant that enhance our teaching. So from practicing conversation skills to providing instant feedback, AI can be a very powerful assistant for you in your classrooms, but the heart of education remains humanly human. As teachers, we're bringing uh, empathy, cultural understanding, and emotional intelligence. These, these are qualities that AI simply cannot replicate. In the end, AI is here to support us, not replace us, and we do not need to be uh, afraid of it anymore. And as long as we stay informed and engaged and we can use it to enrich our teaching, we are not in any danger of losing our jobs. So thank you so much for coming into this episode of uh, TeachX AI. Uh, until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep teaching. <laughs>